Hey guys, it's Corinne. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about the power of the subconscious mind. I have been reading through Dr. Joseph Murphy's book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, and I want to share with you how he explains the subconscious mind and how you can use his teachings to get what you want in life, basically. Um, so what Dr. Joseph Murphy says is that you can, well, he explains the main differences, um, in the following illustration, the conscious mind is like the navigator or the captain of the bridge or a ship. He directs the ship and signals order to men in the engine room. Who's your subconscious mind who in turn take out instructions, um, the men in the engine room do not know where they're going. They follow orders. They would go on the rocks if the captain directed them to go onto the rocks. Um, basically, the men in the engine room obey the captain because the captain is in charge and issues orders which are automatically obeyed. Members of the crew do not talk back to the captain. They simply carry out the orders. The captain is the master of the ship and he decrees and his decrees are carried out. Likewise, your conscious mind is the captain and the master of your ship, which represents your body, environment, and all of your affairs. Your subconscious mind takes the orders that you give to it based upon your conscious mind and what it believes to be true. When you repeatedly say things like, I can't afford this, I don't have enough money, this will never work, your subconscious mind takes you at your word and sees to it that you are in a position not to purchase what you want as long as you persist in saying, I can't afford that car or that trip to Europe or that home. You can rest assured that your subconscious mind will follow those orders and will go through life experiencing the lack of these things. So that's how Dr. Joseph Murphy explains the subconscious mind in relationship to the conscious mind. The conscious mind, we are always giving orders to our subconscious mind and our subconscious it just manifests very effortlessly because that is what it does. Now imagine if you took this exact principle and applied it to romance, applied it to your business or your career or your health or your body or your fitness or your skin. Imagine if you told yourself that money is flowing into my life so easily. I'm always receiving large checks. I'm constantly receiving money out of the blue. Money is the easiest thing for me to manifest. Opposed to saying all the time, I don't have to work. I don't have enough money. I have to work hard to make money. Um, I never have a month, enough money. I can't afford it. Your subconscious mind is constantly taking orders. One thing that you can do is you can speak to your subconscious mind. You can relax your body, put yourself in a nice quiet state and speak to it. Divine mind within. I now command you to direct me to having a successful day filled with cells, filled with joy, filled with receiving large sums of money, um, or have it direct you to anything that you want. Stay tuned for more Joseph Murphy. If you like anything on this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and it also helps to go out to other people in you on the YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video as we continue to talk about our subconscious mind.